looks like we could probably go to the overhead. I'm and we'll Did and so you are a little bit. I'm going to unmute you right now. Yeah, that would be helpful. Yeah, yeah. and you are. And uh, I, where 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 do I need to be? Go up a bit, and go left a bit. That is dead center of the camera. Cool. So you you have that you have that space all the way out to your bags to work with essentially. Okay. Up, yep. to, up, up to here. And then also out to uh, your lid. Yep. How how far down? Boop. Stop. Here. Come, come back up. Come up. Come up. Yep. There you go. Here? That's the bottom. Yep. That's all the right. bottom. I'm just gonna set this small bag here. Yeah, you know. Yeah, there. Huh. So we're, we're getting a question: Is video acceptable for an art challenge? Technically, it would be, uh, but I guess it'd have to be MP4s because that's what's embeddable. Uh, um, I think keep it short. As but yeah, well. keep it short. We're not looking for like you know. We're not. I'm not looking for like, uh, Ocean en Delu, and you're like, you know, it's like I did the whole thing in about <laughs> an hour and a half bread. long. It's like you don't have to do that. So actually, if you could link it YouTube, that would be excellent. That's even better. Yeah, just that would yes. be very good. Put on YouTube yeah. and link YouTube. You're right, yeah. Corey. That's right. Yeah. Do we want to state a time a time limit like ten seconds? No. Like, what are we talking? I don't. Nine, I don't ten. care at this point if it's incredibly I'm long. I would say under okay. like try to keep it under two. That would really be a great close idea. Close to a minute if you can. Yeah. yeah. But if your magnum opus is, is an hour and a half long, then I guess just do it. And when what you don't win, don't be upset. I mean, if you try and isolate your magnum opus to the one minute they would play before they open the card at the Oscars and read that you've won. Okay, yeah. like if it's got to be a trailer, then it. make a trailer, right? Right. <laughs> uh, cool. Well, let's talk, and then no one will let go. Uh, Molly, you've got the book tonight. Heather is building. Yes. Yes. What and then I guess I'll just on? sit here and kill my uh, uh, my microphone. Yes. <laughs> yes. I see um, we're going what, with the What step goals. are we on, everybody? Uh, uh, 45, 46? 45, say, 46? No, we were on like 53. 57? We're opening new bags. Oh, yeah, hang on a second. Oh, we did have it. Oh, okay. Hang on. There's some kind we of completed 57. Shape. That's right. Okay. Oh, heck. Okay. Um, so we are to 58 is where we're starting? Yep. Okay. Sounds good. You'll need bags 4, 5, and 6 for that. So you want me to get them out? Uh, no. I have 4, 5. I'm using them as my, uh, my, my, my markers. So just let me replace those markers with other bags so I know how to keep my stuff on camera. There. 4, 5, and 6. No, I can read numbers. You don't have to come over here. See, they even hopefully put a line on the bottom of the six so I don't think it's a nine. I'm actually going to pause preview so I'm not even tempted. Yeah, that's fair. Um, and I'm going to noodle. Should I Should I actually open four, five, Send and six? Send noodles. I'm sorry, should you open what? Four, five, and six. Um, I can't answer that question. Yeah, I mean, it's indicated on my instructions. Just pictures of the bags. I have to assume that means you open them and that you don't just contemplate numbers. Oh, this bag looks very nice. That's the assumption have... I made on the first page. And Treat it yourself to, to four, five, six bags of pretzels. Uh, okay. Well, wow. These some very small pieces in bag four. Uh -huh. We didn't even, we still had like a bunch of these pieces. Why did they put those in the, never uh -huh. mind. This is not, this is not Lego. This is Mega Construction. Yeah, it that's, is. That's like when you when you're used to building IKEA furniture, and then you get something that's not IKEA, and you're like, "Wait, why?" Yeah, how could this be? Um, what way would you like the um, piece that's already built to be orientated? Um, there's kind of a there should be a little yellow angry thing sticking out the top. Yeah. Uh, put that thing. We're actually constructing a whole new. Piece oh. seemingly, so we may not we might we not might encounter not the, the old piece for a bit. Okay. Um, when we last met our hero, uh, Mega Blocks Assemblage, it was uh, that yellow angry piece was on the west side. Um, but again, I think you can just set it aside and thank it for its service, and we can come back to it that later. Sounds, that sounds fine. Yeah. Um, just let it rest. It's done some hard work. It's true. It's it's oh, also it's my, my being... understanding of the last build was the. Some of these sides pieces might break off very easily, and uh, so if the less I have to touch it, the better. Yeah, just sneeze on it for good luck. Okay. Uh, see if anything falls off. That might take um, me a while to do, but I'll, I'll get there. Okay. Um, so are you still laying up pieces? Or let me know when you're ready. No, no, you can you can tell me what I need. 
Okay, um, first up, you're gonna need one black tile that is two by six. Black. Yeah. Uh, um. Okay, let's see. I don't have anything. It's not, it's not like a round piece with like a no, just a no. standard uh, two by six brand name block construction toy tile. Um. Well, I don't have anything that's black. Do you want to start with the so, more funky pieces first? Uh, this uh, is step fifty-eight, and see if maybe that jogs the bag's memory. I found another bag labeled six. Oh, good gravy! So, okay. Uh, okay, two two by. Something. Let's just just sneeze them all out. Yeah, two by six. Uh, and and these were like a regular sized Lego, not a flat thin one. No, no, no it's a flat thin one. It's a tile. Oh, okay. There's okay. tiles versus bricks is ah. the terminology I learned from your spouse. Oh, I I don't do things the way he does. So I'm gonna learn something. I've noticed. Yeah, and you you're a fan of disorder too. You you like I, you I you so chaos. Yeah. I do typically go more towards the chaos. Like if we were gonna wave length this, I'd probably yeah. put myself at like seventy eight percent towards chaos. Yeah. Um. Um. I can't promise. I I mean, <laughs> it's our, so the task mm -hmm. breakdown is so granular for me that I I can't see the seeds of chaos like you can. I so two by. Six is what you said. I yeah, a I tile. have a bunch of two by eights, but I I'm definitely. Let's look for the other two. You need four other pieces for this step. Okay. Um, and they're kind of funky looking, so let's look for those first, and maybe this two by six black tile will emerge. You need these are all going to be medium brown, sort of default brown. Uh huh. Um, if we're going like if the units of measurement are tile height and brick height. Um, you can't see what I'm doing with my hands. Um, I can't. No. So they're, they're multi-level pieces. It's a ramp where there's sort of solid pips on the ground floor and then a short little Winchester Mystery House step to the next one, which is ho to hollow pips. I can't see what the underside looks like because it's two-dimensional drawing for a three-dimensional thing. Um, but you're going to need two of those little shallow steps. Okay, so when you, when you say... If this was a normal square, this would be like a two by two or a two like by four. imagine. Uh, it would be a four by four. That's the the real estate you're looking at. A four by um, four. Or no, sorry, a two by. It's four total. It's a two by two. I'm okay. sorry. Two by two. Uh, yeah. And uh, it goes up like a full uh, Lego step or like a that's tile that's step. what's interesting so for this for this step you need two that go up a tile step and two that go up a brick step it's going to be two wide um you know two little hollow uh, hollow pips up top and two solid pips on sort of the lowest level Okay. Um, and, and they're not—they're not like rounded into like a like a hemisphere or anything like the that. The tall one is. The tall one appears to be the one that's brick height. Huh. Uh, yeah, the tall one is t uh, two solid pips on bottom, two hollow pips up top after like a brick's worth of ascent, <laughs> and then on the bottom of that, these are not flat on the bottom. All right. I'm just trying to like pull apart all the really weird looking pieces. Yeah, then... I would say that's a good idea. Sort sort of your tiles and your bricks. And in this one, the previous thing we were building was really medium brown heavy. That doesn't seem to matter so much. Just sort of to skim ahead. We're not going to come up on our medium brown pieces for a bit, so you don't have to worry about keeping those separate. Okay. Um, yeah, because there's, there's a lot of like weird step pieces. On yeah. circular pieces and yeah, there's there's some. F this is a funky bunch. So this is this is why I like Lego. Legos generally like open one bag and you're like okay. And it's like now you only have these pieces to deal with. This one's like open oh six bags. Oh no no dude, I put together the Steamboat Willie like Lego a couple weeks ago, uh -huh. and it was all these weird sideways pips on the side of things because you put down the featureless pieces on top to get the sort of cartoonish smooth, you know, of an adolescent uh, 
you know, just a nascent multi-billion dollar multinational entertainment, <laughs> you know. The, the featureless, poreless uh, hall. Um, yeah, it was... But then I got to use the... The, the Mega Bloks have, like, the breaking apart tool, right? Yeah. Yeah, those are... That was the best part. It was, like, a mandala. Uh, so I look forward to us smashing this apart ritually at the end of Zeta. Um, into Jacob's bread machine, and then we eat it. <laughs> we make it into bread. I mean... Um, so what pieces do you have? Okay, uh, I think I found a, a, a good selection of strange pieces. Okay. I've definitely been doing this for long enough that I've absolutely forgotten what I, like, specifically what I need, but... Okay, yeah, yeah. No, okay. so you're gonna need a lot of the... They're gonna be medium brown, little shallow staircase, um, solid on the first step, and then hollow on the upper step. Um, so just any of those, just pick them out. Don't even count them. Just make a pile of them now. Hollow on the first step? Or no, solid on the bottom. Hollow up top. Little sort of smokestacks, you know, that's where they exhaust <laughs> their... Uh... So, so the, the top portion of this curved piece has a... Uh, uh, like pips on the top that are hollow? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't think I have Kind of looks like a little D battery that's got a foot on it, but it's uh, curved all over. Like, it would be on, like, uh, you know, it looks like the bottom of an airplane, like those little specialty containers that you load a f cargo plane with. If that means anything uh, to you. I, I, I can't say that it does. Okay, so we've got one supposed to go up as a tile, and, and one goes up as, like, a curved full step. Yeah, you got a little half step and a whole step. Okay, and they're if they were completely mushed down into one layer, they would be uh, two by twos. Yes, yes, okay. yes. Okay, I think I have those pieces. Okay, I don't. Pieces? I wish I knew what the bottom looked like for you. I don't know how many pips you can expect on the bottom. Well, um, this will either go really well, or we were going to start to make an interesting piece of artwork. And yeah, because this is both... the first step of this new piece, yeah. whatever this new piece is. Uh, so, how many of each of these do I need? Um, you're gonna need, for this, for step 58, you're gonna need two of each. Okay. Two of the brick height ones and two of the tile height ones. Alright. Okay. Alright, I've got those. Okay. So the t the brick height ones. Um, do you have also, do you have the black 2x6, the tile? So, that's kind of where... My problem is, is I don't see one. Are there other bags maybe that need to be yeah, opened? Maybe so, I okay, just... hang, hang on a second. There were three tiny little bags that we never unwrapped that were part of one, two, and three. Yes, and they are all brown. The, everything in there is everything brown. Everything in there is brown. Okay. I've looked at all the old pieces, Beach. Just wanted to be sure. If you I, would... I know that there's no black ones left in the thing. I just thought there might be any little bags. If you look upon the, And what's the count on the black ones? Thing, it's there. It's a, it's supposed to be a two by six. Uh, the current ones I have are a two by eight. Look at that. Nope. Let's see if I can focus in even better. Because boy, is it not. Ugh, it's just getting worse. I mean, I can look through the the bags and if I can find a piece that matches what we need, I can just bust it out. And we're gonna need more two by six blacks for future steps as well. So the sooner we can figure out where those are, the better. Um. Hmm. So the problem I'm having is like Big Eleven has some black pieces in it, but uh -huh. they all look like they're also two by eight. I know. Which is concerning. Mm -hmm. I'm a little, I'm really concerned that I can't see a, a piece of black amongst the, all the brown. Yeah, and it, it appears to be black. It doesn't appear to be, you know, transparent or even like dark gray. Pretty unambiguously. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Two by six. Does she want a tile or she want a, does she want a brick? Well, I have a lot of bus brain. These are, um, these okay. are two by six. This is going well. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, I have that piece. Beach has, has pointed out to me how counting works. Did I you, will, did you think you were holding on to another five minutes back on that clock again, please? I'm, I'm a little concerned uh, what this means for... That was another five, did you say? Yeah, let's take us back up to 20 minutes. No problem. I'm a little concerned about what this means for the rest of this. Yeah. <laughs> You're going like... to be fine. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm allowed to be concerned on camera. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So and it, pff, the stakes could not be higher. <laughs> the stakes are so high. Do you know what happens if we don't finish the Lego before the end of Desert Bus? Nothing. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you're building, but I will build you. <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, do I just need one two by six? Just one two by six for now, yeah. Okay. Um, so you're going to take the shorties, the little steps that are tile up to a tile. Uh-huh. Uh, and put those on the, the ends. Those are the short ends, the two... The ends that are too wide. Yeah, okay. Just kind of make a, a little bench. Kind of looks like a bench. Uh, just snap them in on top, on just the solid pips, not on the hollow pips. Uh, would, okay, would the, would the curve be going up? No, uh, oh, you have the, you have the shallow brown yeah. pieces, not the tall. Yeah, the curve will be facing down. The curve, they're the lowest level. Um... I imagine you oh. only have, like, two pips worth that will make contact with the table. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I want to cover the solid ones. And leave the hollow ones exposed. And yeah. so they'll be level with the black surface. All right, cool. Um, and then uh, I want to do that on both ends? Yes. Of the black piece? Yeah. Okay. That that looks like a thing that should actually happen, so I'm, I'm feeling confident again. And could you orient that north-south for me? Uh, sort of, yeah, sort of tall ways. Oh, yes. So that sort we have vertical, um, right? the brown piece at the top and the bottom. <laughs> Browns at the north and south, yeah. Okay. Yes. Um, and then could you take those taller brown pieces uh, and snap those in on the east side for you? Uh, same sort of fashion, like have the black piece on top of those brown pieces. Uh, just side by side, like little books. Uh... Oh, yes. Okay, I see. I see what we're going for. Yeah. So you'll have kind of... I imagine it kind of looks like a little couch. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Like... Yeah. Yeah. Very, uh... A very artistic kind of couch. Yeah, real modern, like you'd see in a hotel lobby that you'd never sit in. Yeah, you don't really get armrests, and you don't really <laughs> get a backing on, on the sides, but... <laughs> you'd have someone take your photo in it and then immediately stand up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so step 59... Uh, you are going to need, for this one, four more of those shallow brown pieces. The sort of two up to. The the tile. Yeah, tile up to a tile. Solid uh, to hollow. Yes, okay, got that. Uh, and then two red tiles that are one by four. Acquired. Excellent. And then do you have kind of light brown uh, tiles nearby? Um, Just conventional 2x4 kind of, kind of tiles? Kind of a creamy color? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sort of... Uh, you said 2x4? Two 2x4, by four? Two by four, yeah. And yeah. you're going to need three of those. Three of those. Okay, yes, I have several of those. Yeah. Yes, I've acquired those. Okay, so you should have... What is that, nine pieces? Total? Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yes. Okay, great. And, and a um, couch. So, how is this going to work? So, tiny couch. Um, you are going to... Hmm. So, you're going to take the brown pieces, little steps. Yeah. Uh, take two of those and put them side by side. Um, so that they're... You'll have a, you know, sort of two by four structure. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then cover the solid pips with the red uh, one by four. Oh, okay. So you have sort of a flat surface there. Yeah. Okay, done that. And you'll do that again. You'll do that with the other two, the other two brown pieces and the other red. Done. Now you're going to. Let me see. If you if you have sort of the Instagram couch uh, mm -hmm. with the backrest going east. Uh, right? Um, so you're going to take one of those uh, red-brown sort of units you've just made, 
uh, and rotate it so that the red is south and the brown is north. Red is south, brown is north. And you're going to uh, sort of make them kiss like dominoes um, on the sort of top... I guess it'll be like the sort of northeast corner of this structure now, sort of the top... Uh, uh, sort of north northeast armrest of the couch, as it were. So, so this basically would be uh, uh, lining up on the right. You'll create side, a corner, but above the backrest. It'll be kind of coming out in front of the couch, as it were. Sort of coming out, jutting out from the armrest. Because I think you already have kind of curved. You already have brown curved pieces there, so you'll just continue that line. So. Uh, just to just to make sure I have this right, they're they're gonna kiss. I understand what the kissing means. Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm good with shipping like that. Um, mm -hmm. If they want, we're gonna want the uh, so red is still south, brown is north on that unit. Yeah. The but it's on the right side of the structure. No. So I think I've done a bad job describing this. So if you have the couch unit and the red brown unit. Uh, you're gonna have the red bits facing, sort of, pointed south, and you're gonna make them kiss so that you have, at the top of this structure now, a row of brown hollow pips. Just six of them. So if I, if I put it so there's six hollow pips together, Yep. do I also want, uh, going from left to right, four red and two black? Yes. Yeah. Okay, cool. I've, I've done that. They're kissing. Okay, and you'll do that symmetrically uh, the on the other side, sort of laterally, yeah. All right, so we've, we're making we're making like a a really big couch where everyone can hang out. It's a conversation pit, yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just a cozy little. It should be a backwards C. Um, yeah. Yeah, great. And so you're gonna take the three sort of tan pieces, the three tan tiles. Mm -hmm. Um. You're gonna take one of them and uh, rotate it north-south and just cover the butt zone of the couch, sort of put it up against that backstop there. So you'll have, on so your your go... easternmost column there, you'll have blank blank, that new tile, blank blank, just as it was before. So when you say the, base... the butt zone, you're talking like directly in the middle of the couch? Yeah, I really should be using more specific terminology. No, I mean... No, no, not the butt zone of the conversation pit. Yes, thank you for clarifying. Um, I mean, the sort of taller brown brick pieces that are next to the black tile. You're just going to cover that exposed black tile with a tan brown tile now. Um, uh, so you'll have... So two hollow pips and then three of the black. You you should have... You'll have two, yeah, two of two solid black pips exposed on either side of this brown tile. Okay, so uh, on the on the on the couch piece, then what we're looking at is uh, from the top, from the north, mm -hmm. to uh, I. Hmm. Okay, let me let me think about how I'm speaking to get this clear. Uh, yeah. If we go if we go in uh, a line down we're, from the we're which seeing, from the northwest uh, northeast from, corner from the north. Yeah, uh, we're looking at a hollow brown pip, yeah, a black uh -huh. pip, and then we get the four from the new piece. Yep. Okay, cool. Uh, yes. Okay. And then I make these things still kiss. Yeah, you'll still have those floating bits that are kissing. Yeah, yeah. I have a feeling I know where the next step's going. But yeah, you're gonna just create a less, a more shallow backwards C uh, from those corners. Um, so at the end, then, you will have still a red and a uh, red and a brown, two reds, two browns, still exposed on the westernmost side. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah. That, that, that seemed to be what the pieces were were uh, wanting. They're calling. In their, in their yeah, lives. yeah. Uh, but I did want to double check before I uh, attached them, and then had to uh, experience the removal tool. Oh yeah, we were, we were dazzled by the conversation pit idea. We just kind of got swept up in the fantasy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that is that is complete. Yeah. Great. Okay, step 60. Uh, you're going to have to gather up some pieces for this one. Most of them are conventional tiles. Okay. You're going to need two more of those little shallow steps, the brown shallow steps. Uh, okay, just give me a sec to kind of ended up mushing them all over to the side again. Um, there's 
And that's the last of, we see of those for a while. So yeah, I, I have a feeling about maybe your last two. Uh, we're gonna have to dig to find. Deceptively close to one, but not one. And they're so small. Right? They're and so crucial like, and so all small. All these tiles. Yeah. Very, very similar colors. Oh, I found it. Oh, all good. Right. Oh, oh, my iPad just hit the floor. It's fine. Okay, so... Um, so you have the two little staircase browns? Yeah. <laughs> my favorite Motown group. So then, um, you're also going to get a 1x4 red tile. Hey, got that. Great. Um, and then a. You're gonna you're gonna be looking for a light tan uh, two by four tile. Okay. And then uh, three uh, caramel brown two by four tiles. Uh, oops. Yes. And then it's your old friend, the black one, uh, two by six. <laughs> Okay, well, I know where all one of those are now. So. Yeah. <laughs> I just need one? I just need one. Cool. Um, so let me see what it's asking you to do. So you're going to make... Uh, you're going to take one of the medium brown uh, tiles. Mm -hmm. uh, rotate it north-south. Okay. And then put the two staircase pieces, sort of make them kiss on the ends and make a little armrest. It's going to be more of a boat this time than a couch. Uh... But you want them to, uh... Kiss the solid pips to the solid pips. On the bottoms of the thing. Yeah, on the short on the short ends. Right, so I'm making a, uh... Two by... Uh, six? You will, yeah. Essentially with two hollow pips on, on the north and south? Yeah, just kind of up top. Okay, uh, sort cool. of uh, on, on the upper level there. Um, across from each other, like never, they're estranged. These ones have gotten a divorce, they're not speaking. Um, and then you're going to put the 2x6 black tile on top of all of those solid pips. Oh, well that's, that is, that is done. All right, heck yeah. And then on top of that, you're gonna put the 2x4 tan piece, um, in the center of that, sort of up and down. So you'll have two black pips exposed on the tops and bottom of this uh, with one white piece up top. Yep. Confident in so that. You have a little uh, triple decker piece there. Yeah, I got little like a little. Uh, when I when I turn it so you can see it on its sectional, it does look like a tiny little boat. Yeah, and it's got kind of a little. It looks like a fig Newton a little bit, right? A little black yeah. filling. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I want fig Newtons. Dang. <laughs> Store dash to deliver fig Newtons. Um, so you're going to. Uh, continue the shape you have with the hollow pips on the uh, conversation pit structure. Um, so yeah, you'll have uh, two on the sort of tops and bottom of this, you'll have a row of four hollow pips and a row of four solids. Uh, and this will be on the west of the structure that you're putting this down. So, wait, I'm, I'm supposed to still have hollow pips showing on the on the on the boat we've just made? Not on the boat, no, sorry. On the uh, thing with the on the, the original thing, the backward C. Yeah. When I say the structure, that's what I'm referring to, but I should oh, okay. be clearer. Um, and you want me to take the boat and place it... Sort of uh, pull it up to the dock, you know, dock it on uh, so that the hollow pips on the boat line up with the hollow pips on the backward C. I'm not... Wait, sure. Do you mean the hollow pips that are on the right side of the couch? Or on um, the left? You... At, well, as you're looking at the structure, um, the, the sort of C-shape, I mean, the st structure. There's the C-shape and there's the boat. Yeah. Um, so the curved piece, the brown curved piece is on your east? Yes. 
Okay. Um, and you want the, and so... the, the... What I have right now is yeah. that... Because I'm you assuming two separate they're, pieces? They're, they're kissing. They're not, they're not going to interlock. Yeah. Uh, is that I have the, uh, the four hollow pips lined up right next to four solid of the, of the white. Four solid of the white. You mean the sort like of... The, the tan, the... The sort of tan brown, yeah. Up yeah. The, the top floor is all tan, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, on the new structure and the existing structure. Uh, you should have a floor, just the top floor is tan, except for on the far east, you got the little four hollow pips just kind of hanging out. We'll see what their destiny is later. Yeah. Um, but so then you have on the northwest and southwest sort of corners, I guess you could call it, when you've made everything kiss, you should have a row of four, a row of hollow, uh, solid, 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 solid. Row of four, solid, row of hollow. Like, sort of your corners are naked, as it were, unconnected. Mm-hmm. Um, so you're going to connect those with the two remaining medium brown pieces so that you should have kind of a donut. So as, and as you look at, I can't see the bottom of the structure as you can, but you should be able to see continuous sort of curved lines from these little shallow stair pieces on the top and bottom of the thing that's on the table. This doesn't, okay. Um, hmm. I, uh, so walk me through hmm. what you're seeing. So you have, okay. are, these are still um, two separate things? They're not connected? So two separate things, not connected. Yeah. Uh, we've got our backwards C. Uh-huh. And then um, I have floating next to uh, the four yeah. hollow pips on the east side, the, yeah. the boat. Yeah. Well, and the so the boat should have... Two hollow pips and two solid pips on either side of the boat, right? The sort of Fig Newton boat? The... On sort of the bow and the, pro and the, the stern, right? So is, is, is the boat supposed to have hollow pips showing up on it? Yes. On the, on the sort of, on the, the uppermost sort of curved bits, right? The sort of brown bits that cap it? Uh, so if, if, if I were to hold the boat on its own, uh, yeah. it should be a... It's not supposed to be just like a two by six piece. Is it supposed it to be is... two by eight? Yeah, yeah. It's two by eight if you count the hollow bits up top. The okay, hollow pips. I have, I have uh, connected uh, something wrong there. Then. Okay. So I'm just gonna. Let's take the boat apart then and see. I'm just gonna take these off because I think I I think I know what it's supposed to look like now. But, yeah. Uh... It should be the same when you lay the boat thing north south. It should be the same height as the thing you already have on the table, the backward seat. Huh. Uh, I, so if I do what I'm thinking. It will, it will, uh, it will end up being shorter. Well, it should tile. be it should be three units tall by the time you're done with it. When you have the brown layer, the black layer, and the tan layer, that's three layers. Okay, let's let's go over this. There's if if we're looking at it, uh, yeah. cross sectioned uh there's a there's a the bottom ground floor is a brown yeah. layer mm -hmm. which is made up of a uh two by something two by four two by four and then on either side of that is the little ramps yeah facing each other basically yeah and then the the black one is on our second level yeah covers up all the solid pips yeah filling all the solid pips in yeah. And then in the very middle of that, so we still have two solid mm -hmm. pips and two black pips exposed yeah. on either side, is our uh, tan piece. Yeah, yeah that sounds okay. correct. Yeah, I definitely had that mm -hmm. slightly off before. Okay. Uh, under one minute remains. Oh, wow. Uh, okay. <laughs> and um, okay. I'm still not quite sure. You're not sure how it connects? Are you, if I connect it together, does it make a circle? Yes. It makes so, a donut, yeah. So I should be putting uh, you should, the boat it sh on the left side. On the left side, yes. So that the sort of 
You'll have an arrangement of hollow and solid pips on both the boat and the edge of this donut, the edge of right. the, the so, sideways sea. So if we look at Match the solid up. pips, I'm looking and going across, I'm looking at two black, two red, four tan. Yeah. The, yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I was putting it on the wrong side as well. Oh, okay. Okay. So that was that was not helpful. Yeah. All right. I, we we are ready. And I wasn't being consistent in my analogies either. Some of that is on me. Um. Yeah, so then you will cover all of those sort of lower level, sort of second level pips uh, with the 2x4 browns. Okay, yeah, that, that, so that you definitely makes sense. Should have one just solid level of solid pips, all different solid colors. Uh, and then take that red 1x4. And cover um, the and hollow pips? No, actually, I, really? I thought so too. But yeah, you huh. you're going to put it next to, you're going to basically double that the square footage on that level you're going to put it in the vertically in the center of the furthest east column next to so you'll make a little you'll make a little f two by four zone uh including the curved brown there so you want me to stick the one by four red right next to the hollow pips yeah, I wish I knew chess terminology, but yeah, put it next to the. You'll have so you'll have in that same column. You'll have two brown, four red, two brown. Yeah, yeah. All right, finish there. Okay. Cool. We've made um. A donut. Yeah. yeah. Step With a sixty. Stiffy, stiffy thing on it. Yeah. Whew. Okay. Cool. That was a lot of weirdly shaped pieces yeah, to try and... Yeah, so, um, there's also, because I'm going to describe this piece to you. Yeah. There's, um, because I don't know how this will show up in the manual, but there's, like, a... If you think about it as a... A, a 2 by 8 Yeah. Except it curves and slopes down so that, uh, two of those squares ends up kind of getting shaved off. And on the bottom of it, it's like there's like a half tile step, and there's yeah. like some pips that are solid and others that are hollow. And then on top of it, there's just a whole bunch of weird hollow stuff. That looks like stuff with her yep. in it. This Those is fun. we're getting really ahead, but do you see the most bonkers yellow piece I've ever seen in a building set? Uh, is it the little one by two? It's kind of no, it's shaped like a fire hydrant, but like it prolapsed. It's oh, the weirdest looking yeah, thing. Yeah. This yeah, this this thing. Um, yeah, that's from one of the earlier bags. I assume um, that attaches to the other weird yellow stick. Yeah, I'm that, gonna bet you you're right. Yeah, yeah. That, that looks that looks feasible. Um, oh. Yeah, cool. Well, Luke, okay. I'm glad we got we got there. I felt I feel like we were uh, two ships in the night a little bit, but yeah, but we we figured it out. <laughs>